Welcome back to my channel Cab with Jordan. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the mirror tool, the best tool in my opinion, due to the sheer amount of time that you can be saved when using the tool efficiently. So let's just jump right in. The mirror tool is so versatile due to a number of reasons, one of which being that it can be used on sketch geometry, model features, and parts within an assembly. And I'll show you how to do each of these by the end of the video. So as you can see, I've got three files at the bottom here, and these have all been set up, up in different ways so that, so that the mirror tool can be applied. The first scenario that I have open right here I have for you is this part and this is the start of a shaft with some flats and a hole on the end as you can see I've created some features just there and we would like to have the same features on the other side of the shaft now I could just restart the whole process for what I've already done on the other side or alternatively and much more quickly I can create a plane in the center of this shaft or I could use a origin plane like I will do right here if this plane actually turns out to be central. If you created your model and this isn't central, then the way that you're going to want to do this is by using the plane tool at the top here. And then once you have your central plane in place, you can then mirror all these features very quickly. So to begin using the mirror tool, you want to select the mirror at the top here and this is found under the pattern section in your toolbar once you've selected it you'll be greeted with a pop-up menu as you can see here and you'll be asked to target the desired features to be mirrored as well as the mirror plane to mirror about so once this tool is selected you will automatically have this red arrow selected and all this means is all you need to do is start selecting your features then once all the features have been selected you need to click on the next red arrow down and then select your mirror plane but as you can see I don't have a mirror plane available to me at the moment so I'll need to exit out of the mirror tool and place one in the center of my shaft so that all the features turn out symmetrical about it. This can be done as I mentioned before with the mid plane between two planes found within the drop down for the plane tool. So I'm just going to select the face, the very furthest face on either end and now I have a plane right in the center. I can then select my mirror tool once again. So I have it out and now I just need to select all of my features so I'm going to select my flats, my hole, and then I'm going to select my chamfers. And like I said before, you can select this in the model tree on the left hand side if that is easier. After that, you can right click and press continue or alternatively, you can just click on the mirror plane and then you can highlight your mirror plane. Once again, right click OK and just like that, all done nice and quickly. And I didn't have to redo everything that I did for the flats and the hole here on the other side, saving me loads of time. So yes, always ensure that your mirror tool, uh, your mirror plane is in place before using the mirror tool. So that covers how to use the tool on part features. Now, if I move along I'd like to show you how to do it when creating sketches so this model shows a spline on on the model that I've already got created here that would be extremely hard to duplicate and mirror without the mirror tool so before I begin mirroring the sketch I'll need a mirror line this time rather than a mirror plane this can simply be drawn in using the line tool so I'll select my line tool go from the center which is represented by that green node at the top there and then come down to the center again and that's my mirror line in place and something worth noting is that the mirror tool will still allow you to use the line if it has been converted into a construction line so i suggest by doing this by highlighting your line and clicking this button and you'll see it's now turned into a dotted line and the reason for using a construction line is due to the fact that it won't interfere with any of your 3d modeling tools and how they interact with your sketches but once you have your line in your complex line and your mirror line you can select the mirror tool from the pattern section once again you'll select the geometry you'd like to mirror right click continue now you're selecting your mirror line and right click continue once again and there you go just like that you've got your complex line mirrored lastly if I move over to our assembly we can mirror entire parts and this is something I used a lot in my previous job since the assemblies I was creating were all symmetrical which meant that I'd only have to set up one half of the model as you can see here and then mirror it to the other side saving me loads of time and energy in the process so following the same steps as I've shown you for the last two times ensure that the mirror line or plane is in place and then select the mirror tool and my mirror line or plane is going to be this one right here so yeah I'm going to come up to the top select my mirror and then I want to mirror all of these parts found here right click continue and then I'm going to select my mirror plane right click and continue again this will open up and it will just show you what files it's going to create so that's just going to create a bunch of mirrored files inside and you'll know the mirrored parts because they've all been given this underscore dot 
uh, underscore mir suffix which just shows that it is a mirrored version of a part that you've already created so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed the video if you would like to learn more about autodesk inventor and you'd like to have all of your learning resources in one place maybe you want to get a little bit better at your job or show your boss that yeah you can do a lot more things in autodesk inventor get that pay raise whatever it may be i have a lot of learning resources all in one place on my udemy course it is aimed at beginners and intermediates if you find that that might be helpful to you then i highly encourage that you give it a a chance check it out there's always discounts running on the website so yeah give it a go thank you very much for watching